Welcome to the CESS meeting. It is August 30, and today on the agenda, uh, we have our guest, Daniel Miner, who is here to talk to us about Shadow Realm and uh, whether, how, when, etc., to retract that proposal based off of browser feedback. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, I just wanted to follow up on this. So I believe we were meeting earlier this summer where we talked about the HTML integration and this is um, partly in response to Shu from the V8 team reaching out to me about that. So both uh, Firefox and Chrome are in agreement that we can't implement right now without further work on the HTML integration piece of this proposal. So uh, my plan is to put together a brief pr presentation about implementer feedback for the next plenary. Uh, but I wanted to mention it here first, just in case the champions would prefer to present an up update on, on their behalf rather than uh, me presenting something. So I'm um, not sure if I have too much to add um, beyond that since, since Matthew on my team is the person who's been in charge of the implementation. So I can't really speak to too much of the technical details, but I, I think in general, um, Spider Monkey's position is that um, we need, either need more work in the HTML integration or the proposal could stand at stage three without HTML integration in it, with that HTML integration to be a follow-up. But I believe that Chrome's position is that we should specify it all at once. So I don't think they would support keeping this at stage three. But I'm planning to present all of that along with some technical details with help from Matthew, and then we can discuss it in plenary. And yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to make sure I didn't want this to come as a surprise to anyone. So I thought I'd mention it here. And I'm quite open to um, having one of the champions present this instead or collaborating on something. I'll leave it there. Thank you. So yeah, um, yeah so I'll I'll just I'm you know I'm one of the, the champions. Um the I I appreciate that the spider monkey position is that they want to keep it at stage three. I would prefer to keep it at stage three. Um, uh, I understand, let me see if I can state the, the rationale behind the Chrome, Chrome position, which is stage three implies that implementers should proceed to try to implement, that it's ready for implementation. And major implementers, of course, include the browsers. Um, and for the, the browsers cannot proceed to implement the JavaScript feature uh, uh, alone. There's the only coherent way for, for JavaScript to implement the feature is um, you know, for a browser um, to implement the feature uh, is together with HTML integration. And as long as that's undecided, the browsers are blocked from proceeding so uh, keeping it a stage three is kind of an empty gesture. Is that, a, is that approximately Chrome's position, the rationale? That is what I believe their position to be, yes. Okay, I can't argue with that. Uh, I would very much like to see this proceed. I would like to see the HTML integration happen, but neither myself personally nor Agoric as a company uh, has the resources uh, to commit to actually doing the HTML integration work. We just wish that somebody else would. And to that, I have been in touch with Carity and uh, I believe that Salesforce is in conversations with, um, with folks to get a contract to either build out the test suite uh, to improve the test suite for the proposal, I do not know whether that whether that uh, they are working on HTML integration. Um, uh, but yes, uh, uh, to Mark's position, nobody on this call is in a position to present an update. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll add something to the agenda and make sure I leave some time for us to be able. Um, to discuss this in plenary, but thank you for your feedback. Um, near and dear to the module harmony effort and Agoric's stake in module harmony, 
one of the con one of the considerations uh, that I believe Matthew, your colleague Daniel, brought up was that it would be difficult to decouple, or rather, to cre uh, that there is an extraordinary amount of lift necessary to introduce a new type of global, um, for for example, the shadow realm global. <clears throat> My understanding is that the same work is necessary in order to have a global for a compartment or a global per evaluators in the terms of module harmony, one or the other, possibly both. Um, or rather, one or the other is necessary and the other can uh, um, the other would pr presumably stand on top of the other. Um, so it is it. it uh, which is to say there's nothing nothing to say for the update regarding Shadow Realm retraction, but uh, uh, just so you know, folks interested in evaluators and compartments are going to be interested in, are going to, uh, the, the feedback has been received that, that we need to invest in making it easier to introduce new types of globals and answer questions about that. Um, there's a... I remember that we on this call years ago had an intuition that browser vendors would uh, balk at having an arbitrary JavaScript JavaScript object be proposed as a global in a particular context. Um, it is great now to have that substantiated from an actual uh, from from an actual attempt to implement Shadow Realm. That that makes yeah, it sure. more clear. Sure. I mean, just I'd blog it a little bit. It's just, and I don't know if this assumption applies to other browsers, but internally in Firefox, we assume things are either workers or documents. And so that means touching a large amount of code to change that assumption. So we'd really appreciate having thorough tests written to help make sure we don't make any mistakes while doing that kind of refactoring. And I guess the other side of that then is proposals like this, then possibly need to involve uh, DOM expertise as well, because I'm not sure, um, at least internally inside of Mozilla, if the SpiderMonkey team can really sign off on something that could have a large amount of work um, for the DOM teams as well. This is this. Let, let, let me, I wanna, I wanna raise a question. Um, I think we're assuming that the HTML integration difficulties that Shadow Realm faced in terms of figuring out how to introduce the Shadow Realm global without it having, without having to be a new, you know, a new uh, window, a new frame in the in the HTML sense. I think we've been assuming that we're going to face the same difficulties. And that's so I want to want to make that an explicit question because I'm skeptical. I think it might be much easier to introduce compartment globals as new global as as new globals uh, and just avoid all of the HTML integration issues because it's not a new realm. It's really just a scoping mechanism within a realm. Uh, it might even help not to call it a global. Yes, I, I'm trying to think, I, this has been a topic internally and it's. I think you may be right, but I'd have to ask people that are closer to the code about this. But I know we have talked about this and I think in this case, it may just involve exposing a concept we already have internally, externally, in which case, yes, it would not be much additional work, but um, I'm not very familiar with this part of the, the code base. So I would have to ask the experts. Yeah. Um, please do. That would be really great feedback. Right. And and Mark is right to point out that there is a major difference between evaluators and Shadow Realm in this regard, that there is no intention for there to be any form of HTML integration for either of those proposals. There's no need for there to be internal slots in the global in that context, unless there are mechanisms within the browser that are walking up the scope chain to find out more information about the context that they expect to exist on a global object that is not part of JavaScript. Um, if that's the case, then it would be, um, this reminds me that one of the, that Mark is uh, <clears throat> often remembers and points out that one of the neat things about JavaScript that makes it a great uh, language 
to start with for um, for object level um, capability, capability based security reasoning is that by dint of the coincidence that the web and JavaScript were designed in separate standards bodies, they they uh, they have that it has evolved into um, a, a clear separation of concerns between the language and the DOM or the, the language and IO in general. Yes. And so, uh, but this, the global object concern is sort of the, the anchor of all of that that makes it not quite perfect. <laughs> so, so let me suggest that, that uh, if we just call the compartment global something other that, well, I mean, it's a little bit difficult to call it something other than global because it has to uh, be its, its own value, you know, its own value for this global. So I suppose we're sort of stuck with the name global, but it, you know, as as our shim demonstrates, um, by uh, emulating it using with, um, it can all be explained in the spec without really resort to any of the ceremony around the current global in the spec. That's a yeah, so we could we could introduce to the specification something like the opaque scope proxy behaviorally, which would terminate property access, but not terminate necessarily a walk up the scope chain to the realm's true global. That might be exactly what we need in order to decouple these issues. That that would also mean that would also mean that we could have an almost arbitrary value stand there. That's worth thinking about. All right. Well, uh, I think that we've given you all of the feedback and, and all of the additional follow-up uh, uh, that, that we can get out of this topic, given the, the folks present. Um, uh, do you have a communication channel with Carity if you needed to follow up with him to make sure that he doesn't want to present a counter argument? Um, no, actually, actually, I don't see me really. Okay, so I'm putting me offline. Yeah, I'll, I'll get in touch with you. Sure, thank you. All right. Um, does anybody have anything that they wish to add to the agenda ad hoc? I think we can. Uh, I'd I'd like once we go off the record, I'd like to ask a question. All right. Thank you. Let's call that assess meeting.